I'm pretty sure the person who has just clicked on this video is looking forward to answer an interview in the teaching field very soon. So let me tell you, you are at absolutely right place. Hi guys, my name is Sonal and welcome to my channel S Chemistry. I guess this is the very first sit down and talk kind of video that I am doing on my YouTube channel. So from the title of the video, you guys must be already knowing what this video is going to be about. So without wasting any further time, let's get started. This video, I am going to talk about pre-preparations that you all can do if you are going to attend an interview which is in the teaching field for the post of a lecturer or for the post of an assistant professor. Now I have made this video especially for the freshers who are going to have maybe the very first interview of their life or maybe they are going to step into the field of a professional uh, teaching. As well as starting your preparations, the first thing that I would suggest is read about that institute or the university or the college, wherever you guys are applying. So just get a page, like a blank page and go to their website and write a few things which actually attract you. Okay, about that particular college or university. But now I'll tell you why you do this. Uh, many a times during the interview, uh, what happens is that the panel members, they can ask you that why do you want to work for us? Okay, one very most important question. Write a few things about that institute which you genuinely like, which will actually uh, make you happy or you'll feel good about going and working over there. Fine. So this is essential because you can have a question from the panel. Why do you want to work for us? Okay, finding out as a chemistry student what you can do is obviously you can check for the ranking, you can check for the type of faculties who are there, uh, if your work, like whatever work or uh, you know your project is, it, it has been, if it relates to any of the faculties, so you can say that you it's, it's a, a place wherein you can also learn, right, uh, plus the instrumentation of the university or the college, then the ranking, all of these things you can just uh, make a paragraph and keep. Fine. And when do you read this? Uh, if you want to, you, and it shouldn't be by hearted. That is also there. You should just, you should act like, yeah, I have read, but I haven't really by hearted any of it. So just play around, but you need to have the information. So that is the very first thing you need to do. Read about that particular institute, college or university. Moving on to the next most important question. Now, this is the very first question that they always ask is, tell us something about yourself. Or uh, would you like to introduce yourself? Uh, how would you introduce yourself to us? So this question is always there. And I have always answered this no matter for my job interview or for my PhD interview everywhere. <laughs> so this is very, very important. I think I can make a complete separate video on giving demonstrations on how do you introduce yourself. But for right now, I'll just keep it short. I'll just tell you what all you have to include. Okay. So first thing is your name. Now always start with my name is okay do not say myself xyz or i am xyz it is more formal when you say my name is okay so you can say my name is xyz so my name is sonal so i'll say my name is sonal okay the next thing what you can do is mention the place where you belong like mention your hometown or where you're currently residing okay sometimes when you have when you are from uh, one state you are giving an interview in another state it becomes crucial for them also to know okay at the interview, they are more looking at how do you answer? How much do you know about yourself? And what is the best version of yourself that you can serve them? Correct? So that's why it's essential whenever you're telling, whenever you're attempting this question, tell us something about yourself, you should be confident because they're not asking you any concept. They're asking you about yourself. So you should be confident with what exactly you are. Okay. So the second thing that I said is you need to mention your hometown. Okay. Or wherever the village, the place, the city that you belong to. So these are the first two things. Fine. Now the third thing is immediately you start with your qualification. Okay. Now when you start with your qualification, start with your master's degree first and then tell them about your bachelor's degree. Now here also there's a method. How do you go about it is first thing you tell them your specialization. So so I have done my master's in inorganic chemistry. That would be for me. Okay. You tell them your specialization. 
you tell them your passing percentage or if you have a cgpa whatever was given to you all in your college so mention your passing percentage mention your cgpa either one of them not both okay after that the university from where you passed out of the college from where you passed out and lastly the year when did you finish your uh, qualification okay next very important is suppose if you will have any um, if you will have qualified any national exam like gate net csr net or set any of these then mention that so i have qualified so 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 exams okay fine done these things are with respect to your qualification okay the next point that you put forward should be something that speaks about your strength as in the next sentence that you say after your qualifying exams that should speak something about your strength now your strength i mean to say any quality that you have which relates to your teaching profession okay mention a strength of yours which will actually enhance your selection towards that particular post okay so as a a teacher what you require is good communication skills so you can say that my assets are or you can see that my strengths are i'm good at communicating my ideas to others for a teacher being a good communicator and being a good listener both of these are equally important fine so you can say that i can balance myself between being a good communicator and being a good listener so whatever strengths you all have okay which relate to the, to that particular post mentioning those are very essential in your next Oh, sentence lastly you can tell them about your hobbies fine so other than that i also like to invest some of my time this is a sentence which you can use uh, other than studying or other than chemistry i also like to invest my time in music dancing cooking or writing anything that you can say and these are my hobbies and then you say thank you okay always remember say thank you so that they know that you have finished your introduction now the third thing that you have to include in your pre preparation is your dissertation work dissertation or your project work whatever you guys have done so usually at least i have done two projects one at my bsc level that was in nanotechnology and one i had done at my masters level that was in supra molecular chemistry okay so you have to be thorough because usually uh these project names go into your cv or into your resume right like you have worked on these particular projects so you have to be thorough with what type of work you have done as a matter of fact it's your work uh some type of work that you have done so obviously they can question you a lot on on that right so you have to be confident now you don't have to literally by heart everything you just have to know certain uh concepts which which are actually there so how do you go about this answer is you obviously have to give the title uh, you can mention your guide as well so you can say that i had the privilege to work under the guidance of uh, professor so 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 xyz or dr xyz and my work uh, was focused on mention the field okay like nanochemistry catalysis solid state or hydrocyclic whatever it is and then mention the title of your project and then obviously you can expect some questions from them okay the fourth thing is go through the syllabus of the course that you are looking forward to teach okay so if you are applying at the bsc level and you are applying in the inorganic field know what is the syllabus of inorganic for first year second year and ty that is your third year chemistry if you are applying at the masters program for part 1 part 2 know what the syllabus is under inorganic chemistry very crucial okay now once you know that just have a rough idea of the topics like um, the introductory part of each topic like uh, usually the topics in organic chemistry what do we have coordination yeah coordination is major periodic table uh then we have organometallic chemistry solid state chemistry bio and organic chemistry okay so the basic ideas of uh, a few things here and there you don't have to do it thoroughly the fifth and the most important point is pick any one topic which is your strength okay any topic where at which you are really really good and prepare it thoroughly okay so why i'm saying this is that they can ask you to give a demo class fine now there are ways of giving a demo class also if you all want i can make another video on that but not today i have to finish this up that is the last point or pick any one topic and thoroughly prepare it so they might ask you to give a demo class or they might ask you uh, what is the topic that you are good at you know and then they may start questioning you so you have to be thorough with any one topic as per your liking uh, whatever you all like
uh, that is it these are the five things i will just go through them again the very first thing is knowing about the institute preparing your answer if they ask you why would you like to work for us second is your introduction how do you prepare your introduction third is with respect to your project with respect to the dissertation that you will have worked in Fourth is having a rough idea of the syllabus with respect to the post for which you are applying. And fifth is being thorough with any one topic from that syllabus uh, which comes under your specialization. So these are the five pre-preparations things that you all can keep in mind. I can assure you these are absolutely essential. Other than that, there are many other questions which you can be asked during your interview. If you all want me to do a video on it, then let me know in the comment section and I will definitely come back with another video. That's it for today. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. All the best if you guys are having an interview very soon. I guess many interviews are going to start quite soon because the academic years are ending and the new term is going to start. So if you all are uh, looking forward to a job, keep checking for the uh, advertisements. If you all have already applied, then I wish you all the best. Answer well and bye-bye.